I'd like to welcome you to Brenton's virtual showing of our recently updated M2000 case packer utilizing a pitchless uh, variable infeed. Um, this machine is a good example of what we do with uh, infeed. My name's Mike Grinegar. I'm the Vice President of Technology for Brenton Engineering, a Promont company. And uh, as I take you through this machine, we'll get to see one application that we use these pitchless infeeds for. This technology has actually been around for quite a while, but it's really starting to take on some uh, real applications in our case packing business. This example that we're showing here is a Beckoff system. It's an XTS track from Beckoff that we're utilizing on our infeed. So this machine is designed to accept single file products, either cartoned or wrapped pizzas at 160 pizzas a minute, coming in in a metering section through an accelerator section to pull gaps, and then into a down stacker where they're stacked either six, 12, or 15 high. Once the proper amount is in the down stacker, it'll push them out into a cross push area where the XTS track, the buckets that are on that are loaded. Then the bucket can either go all the way around to the load station or it can be accumulated on the track. So we have a built-in accumulation system with this XTS system. After they're around that side for the single high, they're loaded into the case. If we're running the two by pack pattern, then a car will stop on this side and it'll load out of both tracks. This machine runs a very large size range of uh, cases from uh, knockdown cases to wrap rounds to display trays in stacks from 15 high down to six high in either single high stacks or two stacks. Uh, one of the unique requirements of this machine is on this two stack one, the cartons end up head to head in the case. So they're oriented so the case can be split, lifted, and then used as a display ready case. So this machine, besides running these three cases that we're showing, it runs 46 total SKUs uh, with a 20 minute or less changeover with one operator and up to 24 cases a minute is the speed requirement. So to sum up some of the advantages on utilizing a, a linear servo track technology like the XTS from Beckoff is one is uh, changeover. We can go to different sizes automatically by changing the width of the bucket because it's opposing cars. Two is the ability to use the track as an accumulation system so that when we're using uh, the stacks and maybe we're waiting for a case to set up, these can build up and then get uh, ran out. Uh, three is the ability to squeeze or support the product as we're moving. We can go to a torque sensing, which then holds the product steady. And uh, lastly, it's just the flexibility of being able to utilize this for different pack patterns so that we have two by pack patterns or single high pack patterns. Now that we've taken a good look at how we use this application on an infeed, we're going to head over to a different application where we're utilizing linear servo track technology on a main machine of our case packer for some other advantages like uh, speed of running and again flexibility. So we showed you the M2000 with the pitchless infeed. Now we've made our way over to the machine that was supposed to go to the Pack Expo and it's uh, using the same linear servo technology that's available in the marketplace today. It's just that it's a different uh, track in that it's a I track. 5730 from Rockwell and we're utilizing it in a different way in that we're using it to move the cases through the machine so that we can uh, utilize both continuous motion and intermotent motion technology in a true pitchless fashion to accomplish the application. This patent pending design is uh, also set up to run wraparound cases or display ready trays at up to 50 cases or trays per minute. And we do that by continuous motion setup 
and then stopping and loading multiple cases at a time, which I'll go through in uh, detail in a minute. So we start with a continuous motion time proven Brenton setup where we pick the blank out of the magazine and we form it U-shaped into the carriers as they move through this area continuously. After they're set up and the flaps are trapped, we then move to the load area where we gang up and stop the carriers. In this application, we're loading two cases at a time to meet the speed requirements, but we could load three or four cases at a time intermittently or any number of cases continuously by line tracking with a robot. We move then out of the load area. We move independently through continuous motion tuckers. We then pause to put on the manufacturer's glue in a wraparound application with a traveling glue gun. We then move independently again into our overhead flights, which are on another linear track. We go past side glue we fold the majors and in the final compression. We can utilize some of the other track technology in that we can either advance or retard the overhead flights. We can compress harder or relax depending on which portion of the compression we're in. To sum up the advantages of using a linear servo technology on the main machine in the Rockwell 5730 format like this is one, the ability to run portions of the machine in an intermittent motion and other portions in a continuous motion. Another one is to automatically be able to utilize this technology to either relax the, the flights or the case. So like in the load area, it allows us a little more room for loading or to compress it like in the compression area to uh, aid in getting a square case. Also, it uh, gives us the ability to change case sizes automatically so that we can get a true automatic changeover. It also gives us the ability to change the pitch. So let's say we have the cases uh, back to back in the load area, but then pitched out in the compression area for flap folding and gluing. It also gives us the ability to move the case through speed sensitive areas like gluing and coating at a more manageable rate. Some of the uh, reasons that these features translate into a value for our customer, one is to be uh, allowing the machine to run at higher speeds yet having a smaller footprint than conventional continuous motion machines. It also is uh, providing more flexibility in changeover and um, the ability to, to run different things within the iTrack system.